Hi, my name is James Jack and I'm the lead developer on Kamobi. I'd like to show you three workflow scenarios that kind of make uh, real life use cases for where Kamobi might be used. The first use case is, uh, well, I'm working in a lab and I'm doing a, a workup, some experiment that requires morpholine and when I go to the stores I find that the, the, the last vial of morpholine has been used and I need to go and find where I can get some more and, and see what prices we can get. So we could use Kamobi for this. I start Kamobi on my iPhone and I would type in the name for morpholine. And I just need to tap on search. We get the structure and we can see which Simix databases morpholine can be found in. If we go to the supplier tab, then we can see that we have a preferred supplier for morpholine. And if I tap on that supplier's name, then we can get to their pack sizes and prices. So I could make a, a choice about what size of a container we needed and, and what price we were going to pay for it. Okay, let's look at another scenario. In this case, again, I'm working in the lab and uh, a colleague has dropped a bottle of solvent on the floor and the bottle has smashed and the solvent's gone all over the floor and in the, 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 the pieces of container that are left, we can't see what, what name was on the bottle but we can see a CAS number. So we could take that CAS number and type it into Kamobi. And perform a search. And we can see now that the, the solvent that's been spilled is actually uh, trichloromethylbenzene. That's not a very nice solvent. So let's go and see what the uh, the safety data sheet tells us we should do about the spillage. So we can go in and, and have a look and it says that we should uh, not touch any spilled material and uh, there are some instructions there for how it might be cleaned up. Let's take a look at the last scenario where we could use Kamoe. This time I'm not in the lab, I'm on the train on the way home and I'm reading the newspaper and I find out that a competitor has just released a new drug and the drug name is Promethazine but that doesn't really tell me what the structure is but I can use Kimobi to find out. So I type in the name Promethazine and tap on search. Now we can see the structure and I can even go and look in the details and find out some physical chemical properties. These are the three workflow scenarios that I wanted to show you. Uh, thanks for listening and thank you for your time.